hello in today's video i'm going to share with you how to attach a skirt to an inbuilt corset and also how to create a slanted basque for your inbuilt corset and in our next video we'll be doing our lace placement on the upper part of this corset so with that let's get started so in our last tutorial we ended at this part the next step is to work on the skirt pattern of this dress so to join our skirt to the inbuilt corset, we are going to first of all turn it with our lining. So we already cut out our skirt and on the lining piece, I took out two and a half inches from the original measurement. Instead of cutting a full lining, I marked two and a half inches. Remember, we added two inches on the skirt after our measurement. So that two inches is to create a turn up effect for the skirt and then on your lining instead of taking out two inches exactly we'll be taking out two and a half inches so now what i'm going to do is to place the lining on the skirt and i'm going to pin it down so i'm going to be placing the lining to the lower part of the fabric sorry that part was not really showing so what i did was to go ahead and stitch with half inch that is the ending part of the lining and the ending part of the material i joined it together with half inch at the lower part of this dress so after that you're going to lift your fabric this way just like i did and from the lower part of your skirt you're going to be measuring that two inches we added for turn up allowance you're going to make sure that is exactly that two inches that you have on that part that is this half inch you sewed here and 1.5 on top making it two inches and after that you're going to pin it down after pinning this down you're going to also repeat the same process at the other side you're going to be measuring out that two inches you added on the on the material that is the extra two inches after your full dress length and then you're going to pin it and you're also going to make sure that your lining goes out like you push it out this way so by the time you do this you notice that your lining will be meeting with the fabric so what you're going to do now is to place this together and you pin and you're going to be stitching with half inch on the side and also stitch with half inch on this other side so you also use this same method to turn the back part of your skirt also so after i was done sewing this is what i have and this is the back pattern of my skirt as you can see so i went ahead to measure about 10 inches for my zipper allowance and i stitched 10 inches down so i left the opening here that will be serving as the slit for the back of the dress so i'll be shaping my dress with the front so just like i said i turned the back just the same way i turned the front so i'll just go ahead and place the front on it so before shaping this dress i did not add a zipper to it what i did was to pin the zipper allowance at the back the one inch for zipper allowance because the zipper allowance we marked was 1.5 by the time you take half inch you turn it with half inch you'll be left with one inch so i'll place my tape and i'll be marking seven inches for my hip point because the skirt measurement started from our waist but if it's a normal half cut dress you're going to be using 10 inches so after that we'll mark our waist to knee point and from the waist to knee point you're going to go up so from that part i drew a straight line and we'll head over to our waistline on the waistline of this dress i have 16 inches so remember i took out two inches from my waistline my waist was 28 minus two i have 26 so 26 divided by two i have 13 and what i have here is 16 so i'll be marking 1.5 inches on one side then place my tape and mark 13 inches and i will mark so after that the next measurement will be our hip point so i'm just going to place my tape there and i'm going to measure so from what i have there is 22 and my hip side conference is 40. 40 divided by 2 i have 20 and, and taking 20 out of 22 you have one two inches sorry so i'll be sharing one inch on both sides and i will mark and then insert my hip side conference 
and mark at the other side of my pattern also this way so after i'm done marking that i'll be going over to the knee point so for my knee point from the side if you want your skirt not to be too fitted you can just go ahead and use 1.5 inches on both sides so if you want yours to be very fitted you're going to be using two inches so i marked two inches before i marked 1.5 and i went ahead to remark two inches after i'm done marking that i'll mark two inches at the other side also so that two inches i marked i'm going to be taking these two inches all the way to the lower part of my skirt pattern So after I'm done marking the 2 inches, I'll just go ahead to connect from my hip down to the lower part and also connect from the waist to the hip. So now when you're connecting, another trick is not to connect exactly your hip point to avoid your dress from having ear. You can just go in a bit by half or 1 inch. So this is me wearing my skirt after I was done shaping and I added zipper to it. I used the 1 inch for zipper allowance to add zipper on it. But while adding the zipper, I did not take it to the upper part. I left about 1 inch on top. So now I'll be pulling this skirt and I'll take it all the way up. So after I'm done pulling my skirt up, now we are going to start creating the slanted back and make sure that your skirt is on your waist. So I was using my front camera to do this and after that, I'm going to start from my waistline on top. So you're going to determine how low you want the slant to be. So you can decide to come down by 3 inches, 5 inches. So you can decide to come down by any length but don't pass 5 inches because your inbuilt corset is your waist measurement plus 5 inches or, or less your inbuilt corset is a lot longer than that maybe you used six inches so for me i came down a bit by 3.5 inches and i started cutting this and after i was done cutting this out i had to go ahead and recheck if i was okay with it and then i did a little adjustment before i went in to fold it in so there are several ways of attaching your skirt to your inbuilt corset. So I'll be using the simplest method which is folding it in and then you top stitch or tack it down. So if you're tacking it down, you're going to be attaching an applique to it to cover up that part. Or if you top stitch it with your sewing machine, you are just going to go ahead to leave it that way if you want to or also attach applique another way is to go ahead to sew it like inside out but the method i'll be showing you today is just to tack or use your sewing machine to top stitch on it so you're going to pin it before heading over to the sewing machine to sew it or pin it so for the back someone is going to help me fold it in and pin it for me because I can't really do that. I cannot see my back. So if you notice the zipper is relaxed very well. This is because we came in by half inch at the zipper. And we went down by half inch too. So just like I said. If you do this. The back of your dress is going to relax. And it's not going to pop up when you're wearing it. So next step is I'm going to go ahead. And join this on the sewing machine. So after I'm done pinning it. I'm just going to go ahead to sew. And now to sew that part that is at the zipper, I'm going to be folding it in with half inch first and I will top stitch on it. But first I'm going to remove my zip a little before stitching on it because I'll be pushing in my zip a bit. Instead of sewing with that one inch on top for the zipper allowance, I'll be pushing it in like 1.5. This is to make the waist side to be fitted after zipping up so i'll just go ahead to fold in here with half inch and i'm just going to top stitch and when i reach the part that i have my boning on 
i'm going to raise my footer or i'm just going to cut it out and then continue after the boning that i have at the lacing bar area so this is to enable you so that this is to enable your dress so that when you're snatching your waist it's not going to affect the skirt like when you're dragging the lacing bar area your skirt won't also be dragging it will just be the blouse so when you're stitching at the lacing bar area the first boning you're not going to be stitching on it so i'll just go ahead and top stitch on the rest of this dress she got my back but i i'm happy that but i say everything i do is for my woman anything i thought when you talk i go do one me i know they see another care for my fish so on getting to the lacing bar area just like we did for the other side i'm just going to top stitch on this part and stop right before the lacing bar area that i have at this point so this is it what, like what i meant earlier you're not going to stitch on your boning that is carrying the lacing bar area you're going to leave it so this is what i meant by you're not going to stitch on the lacing bar area because dragging the blouse inside the dress that is what will snatch your waist before zipping up your dress so now just like i said at the zipper instead of using that one inch for my zipper allowance i'll be taking it in a bit by half inch i'll just bend it over like this bend it this way and i'll stitch on it and i will cut out the excess so instead of using your actual one zip one inch for the zipper at that ending part you're going to push your zipper out so after i'm done stitching on my dress this is what i have and this is the part that i stitched if you notice is on my waistline and the other side slanted down a bit so this is what you have as an inbuilt corset so and this is me wearing my dress so in the next video i'll be sharing with you how to attach or do a lace placement on your corset and this is the back of the skirt as you can see is very fitted so see you in our next video and if you haven't yet subscribed please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and join us in our next tutorial thanks